Shine it right here. Start your video. Yeah, it goes down. I know. Wait, what the? F <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that? Oh my god, that is awesome. Open the door. I want to see. Hey. Oh. Yeah, look at the dash. It has stars on the dash, dude. It's oh. so nice. Wow, this is a lot nicer than your rolls, Ted. I like how the wood is also black and white. Like, this is ridiculous. Oh my god. Now it's got a white liner and you got the light of the starry night here too. Lamb skin on the bottom. Is that why you have towels there? Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> To touch it. I haven't sat in the seats without having towels. I don't let my wife sit in without the towels either. It feels like a hotel in here, like a mobile hotel. Rolls Royce goes. The reason why this car is in is we're gonna be lowering it today with lowering links. We have wheels on order for this, however, it's not in yet. So today we're just gonna be lowering the car on lowering links. Look at these links, guys. They have the word ghost on them. Like these are specifically just for Rolls Royce. How cool is that? Today's episode of EVS Motors, we lowered this Rolls Royce about an inch. Guys, we have a new Brixton Forge wheel set that just came in. I have no idea what this is for. All I know is that's for a Lamborghini Huracan, according to the sticker. By the way, Brixton, I think, makes the coolest boxes. Or at least they put the most amount of effort in their boxes. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, okay, never mind, we have slot. Dang! That's a really nice freaking sock. Oh, different. I like it. Nice. Wow, we haven't done a brushed aluminum wheel in a very long time, but I like it. This is a cool change. So this is a PF1 wheel from Brixton Forge. This is a completely 100% fully custom made wheel. This is a monoblock wheel, as you guys can see. So just one big block of aluminum that was shaved down to make this wheel. Really cool spoke design. It's like a directional style. Really unique, but at the same time, it's still essentially a five spoke wheel. And because of that, it's very open. So it's still pretty lightweight, I would expect, especially with these cutouts here in the middle just to kind of get rid of some of the weight but then it also acts like as a design piece to it multifunctional i guess you can say i love how the edge of center cap matches the finish of the wheel and then of course the black and white brixton logo really clean i've never seen this before on any other forge wheel but the sticker it tells you the runouts of the inner and the outer what they do is they measure the wheel before they send it out just to make sure that it surpasses their standards of quality overall really cool looking wheel from brixton forge look at this the new Tesla Model S Plaid. Oh. Dude, look at the steering wheel. Look, you see this? Dude. That is freaking like, so bro. Cool. Like, I'm, I'm used to driving like this, but like, I have felt no difference. You know how to switch gears? So you put your foot on the brake, and then right here, this little sidebar is gonna pop up. And look, so you swipe down to go in reverse, and then you swipe up, and go forward. That is so freaking nice. Yeah. This is ginormous. This is so much bigger than the regular S. Two and a half, three times the size. Wow. Even the trim here is, uh, it's not even sand black like the new threes or the Ys. This is gloss black and the door handles are gloss black. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. Look at that carbon fiber. You have cloth here, leather, two-tone leather. Is this a, oh man, that's a button. It's like the Model 3. Dude, that is so nice how they did that. The seats look nice. This is a freaking view. Oh my goodness. This is so freaking cool. You can't do 10 and 2 like you're supposed to. No one does 10 and 2 to begin with, bro. Uh, that's what they still teach at DMV, bro. Yeah, and look, they're driving gas cars. Tell them to get to the future. Wake up. This screen is amazing, guys. It's so much bigger than the Model 3 and the Model Y. It looks better. There's actually color now, like on the icons. There's a screen back here. Dude, that is so cool. I, I kind of like the dark top. Oh, the headliner? Yeah, I love it. I was saying this earlier. This is the first iteration of the Model S since its creation that I feel like is actually worth its price, if not more. Like the first Model S that came out, it was it felt and looked way too cheap for how much it cost. And up to this point, they've always kind of felt and looked cheaper than what they cost. But this is the first one I feel like, yeah, you're actually getting what you paid for, if not more, which is insane. Do you see the stitching on the sides? 
Yeah, yeah, on the on the on the door handles. I love this, like a little two-tone denim style. Guys, this is carpet now. This is amazing. Cause like normally this gets kicked a lot and then it gets kind of like scuffy. But now it's just carpet, so you can clean that off so much nicer. Carbon fiber runs throughout the whole thing. This is amazing. I love this. This spoiler is so low profile. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's crazy. It's just so flat. I mean, like, even the back seats, oh, look how much, like, support and, like, cushioning. This is, like, very ergonomic. So you're probably wondering, what are we doing with a brand new Model S? It's brand new. What else can it need? Well, <laughs> we're going to be clear bra the entire vehicle. But not just any clear bra We're going to be satin guarding it. So this blue that you guys see is going to be this nice satin matte translucent blue. It's going to be really cool. Everything is kind of, like, lower and flatter. It kind of, like, stretched out a little bit more, if that makes sense. Like, the mirrors are more angled right and lower even the a pillar it's not so steep of a slope now it's more gradual if that makes sense As you can see, the first piece of the satin guard is put on, so you're going to tell a huge difference, just the color. Isn't that cool though, how it looks? Taking the original paint and just making it a satin, translucent version of it. Diffuse glow, if you will. We have the badges taken off because they were chrome, so we're going to paint those gloss back to match the trim pieces. Talk about a total sleeper. The sand blue works so well with the S, really complementing that low key vibe that the S gives off while being the freaking fastest car in the streets. This isn't your typical satin clear rub, by the way. Satin Guard has this tritone effect that gives off a matte, sad, and translucent shine, depending on the viewing angle. Other matte films just wash out the color and just looks flat no matter how you look at it. Really brings out the body lines. We also painted the badges black to match the factory trims and tinted all the windows in PhotoSync 30 on the sides and the back, 70 on the big glass roof, and on the front windshield. Last but not least, we finished up the project with a ceramic coating on the film and glass. The surfaces are so much smoother now, water just beats off of it like crazy, and towels just keep sliding off the car now that it's so slick. Now that we're done with it, I can safely say this is the ultimate daily driver. Alright guys, that is it for the vlog. Thanks so much for watching. We want to work in cars, so hit us up. Our contact info in the description down below. We have a really cool project coming up. I'll give you a quick sneak peek. It's right there. I can show you too much. Stay tuned. We will see you guys.